Today, we are going to be spinning the brand new SpongeBob wheel 100 times and until we get every single new skin. And as you can see, there are a lot of them. So let's waste no time and hop right into it. This update is going to be crazy when it fully comes out. So we have the robot SpongeBob to start out. What do we get second? Give us Patrick. Okay. We have the Daft Punk looking dude. No shards for this wheel. This is the beta, just to be transparent. Hey, and we got Patrick. And he's an epic, which is a little surprising. In my heart, Patrick is number one. He's the best SpongeBob character. Don't at me. Gary is probably second, honestly. I like Gary a lot. Sagittarius, uh, special. There's a bunch of them in a row. That's a little weird. Okay, we got the Mercury, which... He looks a lot like Thanos, to be honest. And we got Mrs. Puff. Okay. Not too bad. All right. So we are missing Doodle Bob. And then the... I forget the name of the SpongeBob variant, but it's the one from the SpongeBob movie where he brings out his guitar and has that whole on light show in the Krusty Krab. If you haven't seen the SpongeBob movie, what are you doing? Go watch it. Ooh, okay. We got a mythic Dwali guy. Ooh, Patrick Star, Miss Puff. Not bad, not bad. Okay. And we go again. Give us Doodle Bob. I think Doodle Bob's gonna be my favorite out of these. Ooh! One off. Okay. That's fine. Um, and I talked about this in my last video on my main channel, but Sandy, Plankton, and normal SpongeBob and another SpongeBob variant are all going to be uh added. And I imagine Squidward. You you can't leave out Squidward, right? I just haven't seen a... Oh, I love this skin. Um, I haven't seen a full-on PNG of Squidward yet. So, maybe by the time that this is posted, we have more info. But the timeline for this update should be in two weeks. So, in two weeks, I would anticipate uh, this being out for you guys. And then there will all... I think there's also going to be an open beta. But this is speculation, so... Don't take it as fact. We still have not gotten the Doodle Bob yet, though. Um, but I want to give a huge shout out to all of you guys. The support on the main channel yesterday was insane. Both of the videos that I posted popped off. And I honestly it was super duper tired. But the uh, payoff is definitely worth it. Because you guys were showing a whole bunch of love in the comment section. Oh, and there it is. The wizard outfit. I was trying to figure out the name of it, but it's just literally that simple. And then this one is weird. It's bloody footprints. I don't get what it has to do with SpongeBob. It's probably nothing. Uh, and there we go. We got Doodle Bob. I think we have all the skins now. Oh, we don't have that computer screen or the ramen special. Okay. Give us something cool. Please. Eh. Is what it is. Okay. Keep it going. Give us the ramen. Oh, we do need these two mythics as well. To be completely transparent, I think the food skins this go-round are very bad besides the ramen. The ramen's okay, but the milkshake or whatever it is, the boba and the other, is just uh, kind of atrocious from my POV. But hey. Ooh. Uh, we still need that computer. We're five minutes down. And we still need quite a few. Uh, speaking of atrocious skins, the Thanksgiving dinner one is uh, questionable, to say the least. But if you guys are enjoying the content, as always, make sure you guys are using code Baby Yoda if you're going to buy the Stumble Pass or anything in the shop. Because I have so much to film, it's ridiculous. They love posting everything on Fridays. So, I'm going to be posting this wheel on my second channel, and I still have to figure out my main channel video for today. Uh, but, there is so much to be recorded. The new Bikini Bottom map is perfect. Like, obviously, there's still bugs. If you didn't watch my first video, I flew across the entire map, which was funny. Uh, but, it's still, obviously, a well-thought-out and cool level. Um... I just really want a Spongebob elimination map. I think it would be so funny to give it like, I don't know, maybe like a dojo and you have like Spongebob with karate outfits and stuff. I don't know. Or Sandy's Dome. Ooh. 
Wait, that that actually could be a pretty cool level. Shout out to anyone that played Battle for Bikini Bottom. That game, and even the new one, is so fun. So we got Puddin Head. I think we are missing one skin. Let me scroll just to make sure. But we got the main ones. And we still have to get every single one just because it's a rule. Uh, but we are missing two. We got the Boba still to go. And Errol, I think. That's how you say it. Uh, but let's go. Here we go. Errol and the Boba. Nothing to do with SpongeBob whatsoever. Let me know down in the comments. What do you rate this update 1 through 10? And I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the workshop. Because on the one hand, I want to make a bunch of content for you guys and just like get it out as quick as possible. And on the other hand, I want to make a cool level to showcase the capabilities of creative mode. So it's kind of like a, a really fine line where... Do I want to do this? So I think I'm going to wait a little bit to post like a full-on creative overview of it. Because if I rush it out, it's just going to be a crappy level. Um, but I definitely will take advantage of playing others' levels. But I, I don't know. If you guys have any great ideas on what kind of level I could use, I will credit you if I actually make it. So if anyone has a fire idea... Because I think that's part of it. I don't really have a great idea with the uh, blocks that are already uh, given to us. Because I would love to make an elimination map. But race maps, I kind of feel like, are very repetitive. At least like with elimination maps, you can just uh, have the fear of getting punched off. Or the excitement of going to punch someone off. Or spatula them off. Whatever you want to call them. Um... But we are still missing that darn computer screen. Just give it to us. Um, okay. We are now eight minutes down. And honestly, I don't know if I care that much about the computer screen. Speaking of computer screens, why isn't it Karen? Plankton's wife. That would make more sense. It also bothers me that everything Spongebob-esque is named Spongebob and not like Doodle Bob and all these other things. They probably don't have clearance to name it uh, certain things. And... Hmm. Okay. I tell you what, after these 10 spins, I'm going to make sure that we still do not have the computer. And we might cheese the system and just press escape a few times. So let's see. Uh, well, escape and... Scroll down. Are we still missing it? Yes. So, here's a tip. All you gotta do, Q10, escape, Q10, escape, and then once you see it disappear, boom. So, now we ha officially have every single skin and item. So, what we're gonna do is hop into one game of the new Bikini Bottom map with the best skin, which... Hmm. What is the best skin? I think my favorite... Is going to have to be Doodle Bob. Was that a mythic? I think it was a mythic. Okay. And here we are. Don't Be Jelly is the official name of the level. And here is the Doodle Bob. It's not as angry as the actual one from the show. But the 3D look of it is really cool. Okay. And these bots are kind of cracked. I turned them on. I was going to play by myself. But I thought it might be interesting to see how they approach this level. Because obviously... The devs know what they're doing way better than I do. So, the bubbles, if you don't know, you get, I believe, three or four dives in it. One, two, three, four. And then it pops out. And then from there, you get, like, a little uh, boost upwards, which is really cool. And then this is, like, super slide. And it, I think it's better to just <gasps> stay on the slippery portion and not try to go for any skips because it kind of slows you down otherwise. Uh, but now we are to the bubbles. And there's a bot that's doing pretty much better than I am. And does volleyball help? I think it does, actually. Uh, send me. Thank you. I, I again, want to mention how good this level is. Whoever made this ooh, at Scopely, kudos to you. It is so fun. Oh, wait. 
The whole time I was playing this level, I didn't even realize the finish line was the Krusty Krab. Wait, that's so cool. The details. Honestly, it would be kind of funny if the finish line, you actually walked into the Krusty Krab. But that's, that's, a, that's a little minor critique. I think that would have been way cooler. But... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to like and subscribe. And as always, use code Baby Yoda if you're going to pick up the Stumble Pass. And thank you so much for all the support recently. It's amazing. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.